I mean, talk a little bit more about your daughter. How does she feel? Because I know she wasn't too happy when you first went on the show, but now that she's watching some of the episodes back, what's been her reaction? You know, how has this changed your relationship at all? Well, what a great question. So um, the, the story is I found Rose on social media. You know, we fell in love. Um, we were um, FaceTiming about three to four times a day for about three months. I bought a ticket and I posted that online and everybody, you know, I guess a lot of people watch the show and they're like, oh my God, you're doing 90 Day Fiance. I'd never heard of the show. Well, my daughter and my ex-wife were huge fans. So they knew they could see into the future what was gonna happen to me because when you expose your your life and your, your everything that's personal about you, you basically open yourself up for ridicule. So no regrets at all? No way, no. And I, you know what, I, I got my daughter back that would have been that would have been horrible that would have been horrible but absolutely 100% no regrets you know why because i'm online with you right now telling my story mm -hmm. yeah. and if i can make a difference in somebody's life you know even if it didn't work out so what you know yeah. so what I'm so happy that you and your daughter are back on track you know i think that's so important and i'm sure that was a very tough thing for you to go through it was the worst thing I've ever um, gone through. And I don't know if you guys, well, I'm sure you have. The scene in the airport was, um, I mean, when I look at it, I, I even get teared up. But for the first time in my life, I was going to get on a plane and not be able to say bye to my daughter. That had never happened to me before. Mm -hmm. So everything really kind kind of came full circle in that moment. And I'm like, uh, I'm like, she, she didn't even know I was leaving. Yeah. So I just, and she wouldn't answer my calls. I kept calling her. I'm like, screw it. So I made a video and I, and I basically said, look, if I never see you again, you know, yeah, well, I love you. So that was tough. That was really, really tough. And you know, it, it, it hurts when you're happy and people in your life that love you are hurting, mm -hmm. you know, it's not the same. And I wasn't able, I wasn't going to be able to be happy unless we were, we were complete. And so that phone call got me through 23 hours of, um, of weight on, on three different planes yeah. while I travel to meet Rose. So what? I love my daughter. She is, and I say this with love and respect. She's a pain in the ass, just like her dad. We are both. Her mom tells her every day, you're just like your father. And yeah. we are, we both, you know, but, but we're very passionate about who we are. We're, mm -hmm. we're very honest people. And, and, and she's, you know, she's a real estate agent in Las Vegas. She's doing really, really well. She never gives up. Um, she's a fighter you know, just like her dad, and she's not very tall, yeah. but super beautiful. Oh my God. No, definitely. I mean, and then talk a little bit more about her son. I mean, you know, we see that he calls you daddy, like you, you know, you make that bond with him. I mean, what was yeah. that like, you know, kind of seeing him for the first time? What, and yeah. what was your daughter's reaction to, you know, you becoming so close with Rose's son? Oh, um, well, uh, I didn't even have time to explain to my daughter, Tiffany, she hung up on me and she, she basically didn't talk to me before I um, I happened to call her the um, day I was leaving. She didn't even know I was leaving for the Philippines, but she um, was worried about me. And the biggest fallout, and I, you learn this, you know, through kind of going through, you know, um, fights and disagreements. You know, I wasn't listening to what my daughter was saying. You know, she was, she cared about me, but I thought she didn't, I thought in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, she doesn't want to share me with anybody else. But that wasn't it at all. She doesn't have a problem sharing me with another family, but she was worried about my safety. Um, as far as Prince goes, he's a beautiful, wonderful boy, very smart, very loving, would hug me like every day. Um, in fact, when I when we first pulled up, he runs up and gives me a big hug. And it, it was kind of weird at first when he was calling me daddy, mm -hmm. but, you know, but he's never had a dad. Sure. You know, he's never had that in his life and you know i knew if you know being with rose it was a package deal and i had to become a father again and it, and at 54 you know um taking on a four-year-old my buddy rich asked me you know in the show he's like you know well you know do you, are you thinking about what you're doing how you know what are you gonna do you're at 54 and when he's 14 you're gonna be 64 and you know how are you gonna handle that i'm like well at least I'll have somebody to, you know, wipe my mouth when I'm drooling. I'll try. I kind of made it a joke, but right. But I was ready to, you know, I'm ready to be a dad again. You know, I'm. Right. I love kids. They are, they are our eyes to the world. They speak the truth. 
They tell you like it is. I mean, I mean, there's three things in this world that 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 don't lie. Okay, people that are drunk, mm -hmm. um, yoga pants, right? Right. And and kids. Okay, those are the three things that tell the truth. I love kids. I love Prince, and and I'm excited to be a part of his life.